Hey guys, in this video I want to do some experience on this supercapacitor bank. Here I have this supercapacitor bank. The voltage of this supercapacitor is 16 volt and its capacity should be 83 farad. But in the previous video when I test its real capacity, I find that the total capacity is only 59 farad. I put the video link in the description. Let's get it started. I would like to connect this supercapacitor bank to the inverter instead of the battery and running this incandescent lamp as a load to see how long the supercapacitor lasts. Before testing, let's do some calculations. The power of this incandescent lamp is about 33.3 watts. My inverter efficiency is about 80%. So the inverter will draw in power from the supercapacitor about 41.6 watts. 41.6 watt divided by 12 volt, which is average input voltage. So this inverter will draw in 3.46 amp from the supercapacitor to running this incandescent lamp. The real capacity of this supercapacitor bank is about 59 farad. Because I want to discharge the supercapacitor from 14 volt to 10 volts, so the delta V is equal to 4 volt. And the current, as I calculate before, is equal to 3.46 amp. So the result is 68 seconds, which is 1 minute and 8 seconds. I charge my supercapacitor to 14 volt. Let's see how long this supercapacitor bank lasts. <laughs> As you can see after 1 minute and 5 seconds, the inverter cut off the load because the voltage of the supercapacitor become around 10 volt. This is close enough to my calculations. Any power inverter cuts off the load when the battery voltage drops below 10.5 volt to protection the battery. Because if you discharge a 12 volt battery below 10.5 volt, you kill in the battery. But the advantage of the supercapacitor bank over the traditional battery, you can discharge it to any voltage you want, without affecting the lifespan of the supercapacitor. I'm trying to do some modification on this inverter to make it working even with low input voltage. Because as I said before, you can discharge your supercapacitor bank to any voltage you want. Don't forget to discharge this high voltage capacitor. This IC is TL494. The inverter manufacturer using this op amp inside this IC to switch off the inverter when the battery voltage become less than 10 volt. The non-inverting side of this op amp connected to constant voltage about 2.45 volt as a reference voltage. 
but the inverting side of this op amp connected to a voltage divider and the voltage divider connected to the battery. When the voltage of the battery is 13 volt, the voltage at this point is about 2.8 volt. So the output of the op amp is zero. But as soon as the voltage of the battery drops to 10 volt, the voltage at this point become 2.4 volt. So the output of the op amp become high and turns off the inverter. I'm trying to do some modification on this inverter to make it working even with low input voltage. So I disable this protection system by connecting 1.5 kilo ohm resistor between 5 volt reference voltage of the IC and invert inside of the op amp because as I said before you can discharge your supercapacitor bank to any voltage you want. After doing this modification on the inverter, I charge my supercapacitor again to 14 volt and running the same lamp again by this inverter. After 2 minutes and 38 seconds, the voltage of the supercapacitor bank become 5.5 volt and the inverter stop working. So by this modification, I increasing the running time of the load from 1 minute and 5 seconds to 2 minutes and 38 seconds. However, in this cheap Chinese inverter, the output voltage decreasing by decreasing the input voltage. Even before my modification, the output voltage of this cheap Chinese inverter was not stable. So as you can see, when the input voltage become 5.3 volt, the output voltage is around 100 volt only. But the output voltage of this expensive inverter, almost constant. This low output voltage still usable to running some electronic devices, such as this LED lamp which working with wide input voltage, from 100 volt to 240 volt. In the end of this video, I have to say that I don't recommend to replace the battery with a supercapacitor bank, because the price of supercapacitor bank is much higher than the battery. 40 amp hour battery costs around 36 bucks and can run in a 33 watt lamp for 11 hours. But my supercapacitor bank, which cost around 37 bucks, can run in the same lamp for only two minutes. Thanks for watching.